An agreement signed between the United States and Taliban has been named as historical. Analysts highlighted that agreements were reached after 19 years of confrontation. The agreement states that the US and NATO will withdraw their troops from the country in 14 months. The agreement also states that negotiations between Taliban and other forces in Afghanistan will begin the next week on March 10. The parties will discuss a permanent and comprehensive ceasefire. The biggest uh, challenge, security challenge in the region and specifically in Afghanistan is the operation of terrorist groups, their affiliates and organized crime groups. The other one is the brain drain and the capital outflow towards abroad. The best way to solve all these challenges, especially in Afghanistan, is to end the cycle of violence and conflicts and give the people of Afghanistan the chance to form a stable, working and robust government that will have all the tools at its disposal to solve these issues. The important thing to note is that Afghanistan has had about seven democratic elections since the beginning of the operation Enduring Freedom. And that's very important that because it shows that the Afghan people are committed and want to establish democratic institutions and a democratic culture in their country. The states of the region are interested in solving the Afghan crisis. Moreover, they have formed the common understanding of its solution. Afghanistan needs not only the humanitarian assistance, but also the support in implementation of infrastructural projects. Afghanistan is an integral part of Central Asia. In economic terms, as a trade hub, transit hub, therefore, if the situation there doesn't normalize, the neighboring states and the area as a whole will not uh, have security, prosperity or stability. It is possible to achieve good results by considering Afghanistan not as a threat, but as a prospective partner with undiscovered potentials. Kazakhstan implements educational program for Afghan students and takes part in construction of the socially important facilities. Uzbekistan exports electricity to Afghanistan, while Turkmenistan exports gas. Direct flights and train service are well established from these countries as well.